To ask the question, what is happiness, that's a really big question, which the whole world wants to know the answer to. But I'm sure it's got something to do with the fact that we are social animals and the biggest thing that we, as school leaders, need to focus on is that these children need to be able to communicate with other people. A, a person, in this case a student, can only be happy if they are connected to people and have an understanding of their own ability. Well certainly um, the happiness of our children, present happiness and future happiness, is right at the top of our priorities, no question. So how can we possibly influence their future happiness? A lot of different people who want to be here, being here. So kids experiencing the joy of discovering the world in a community that's a very positive one. Somebody used to walk into the school, um, quite honestly I think you see pockets of happiness everywhere and it's in the tiniest interactions. It's in um, an older child playing with maybe a baby, a staff member. Parents having a cup of tea, having a nice chat. You see kids playing in the sandpit together. The kitchen scenes of Joelle preparing food for the kids. It's like she's preparing food for an extended family. Someone might be helping someone else find a hat. But there's a real readiness and willingness for people to help one another. Well, I think the first thing it looks like is you see the smiles on the kids' face and the, them skipping around the yard or skipping to the classroom. So that's an indicator that they're, they're feeling pretty happy. Why I think the children at Fitzroy Community School experience happiness is because they feel such a strong sense of belonging to the community there. It really is the extended family model where everyone knows everyone and everybody is seen and everybody is heard and they are seen to be an authentic version of themselves. I think in some groups or institutions there's this subtle message or idea about what the ideal person or member should be like. And as hard as you look here, there is no such thing. So there really is freedom to be, and in fact you're encouraged to be exactly who you are. And that is really all you can ask for in the world. So I think that fundamental aspect of the school creates an environment for happiness. It feels fun when in the morning I'm just so excited to go to school. I'm most excited about just being here. That you get camps in prep and um, you get to go swimming and your parents give you money so you can go to a lolly shop and eat, buy some lollies. Everybody knows everybody. Nobody, nobody excludes anybody. Usually there's always something new to do. I feel like it's homeschooling, but I don't have to do it at home, so I'm dropping the kids off at someone else's home, a friend's home, where I know that they're being educated very well, but also looked after and loved and cared for. They had small class sizes, so you're not trying to manage huge numbers of kids. It's not impersonal. You're able to go around the classroom and help all the children that need to be helped. I think it's the trust of the teacher who allowed us to let the children take in more risk than in a normal setting. We have less fear of all the regulation, and so we can be free to explore and so the children have a much broader experience. In reflecting on our contribution to happiness as a school, a, a number of things came to mind. The first thing that came to mind was what I'd call agency, which is 
your experience of your own abilities, your experience of doing things, your experience of success, of contributing. There's really high expectations on all the children in terms of participation and effort, whether it's in the classroom or um, on sports day or just taking care of a younger child or cleaning up. They're all required to participate and give it their best effort. And what this means is that all the children feel like they're needed and that they're useful around the school and that their um, role in school life is essential to the running of the school. And I think this is a really fundamental aspect of um, them coming out of the school feeling like they want to contribute to their community and that they belong in their community and that they have something to give. Humans are social animals and need to live for well-being and happiness in a community, a society. So we want to be contributors to that society, not just passengers. Well, everybody knows that the way you live your life as a child has a big effect on how you live the rest of your life. So it's well worth getting that right, getting that balanced, and getting that wholesome, uh, forming the necessary skills, uh, namely interpersonal communication skills. Occasionally I ask the children directly this, what is it that I have done on any one day to make my space a little bit better? Someone once told me that happiness was three things. It was something to do, something to look forward to, and someone or some, lots of people to love. And I think here this school fulfills all of those things really well. There's always something to do and the kids always feel really engaged in what they're doing. There's always something to look forward to, whether it's a camp or a concert or an excursion or just seeing their friends and their teachers the next day. And there are so many people to love and the children here feel really loved. So I think that happiness just encompasses everything about this school. The kids full of friends and family and, and love, lots of love sharing and fun.